A Hay CISD school bus carrying 44 children and 11 adults is hit by a concrete truck on State Highway 21 near Caldwell Road in Bastrop, killing one child on the bus and one adult male in a vehicle following behind. We're learning from district officials tonight that the bus driver insisted medical personnel tend to the children first, although she was injured in the crash. The stretch of Highway 21 near Caldwell Road was closed for hours after the crash. The bus overturned on its side during the crash, but it remains unclear whether the bus was equipped with seat belts or not. More than nine EMS agencies responded to the scene. Austin Travis County EMS says a total of 53 people were involved in the crash and four people were taken to the hospital by helicopter in critical condition. Six others with potentially serious injuries were taken by ambulance. CBS Austin's Andrew Freeman has been following the story all day and joins us live tonight from St. David South to continue our live coverage. Andrew, what's the latest? Well, the scene on State Highway 21 cleared a little more than an hour ago. Many of the patients were transported here to St. David's South Austin Medical Center. What should have been a fun Friday afternoon field trip to the zoo now leaves hearts heavy at the Hayes CISD community. A fun outing to the zoo turns into a nightmare when a bus carrying 44 pre-K students and 11 adults from Tom Green Elementary in Hayes CISD is hit head on by a concrete truck on State Highway 21 in Bastrop Friday afternoon. A black charger traveling behind the bus then also hit the vehicle. That driver and a male child on the bus were killed in the crash. It's difficult. It's something we actually do for a living, but it's difficult when you find children this young that are involved in the crash. 51 others were injured, with four of those being critical and requiring being airlifted to the hospital. Six others who were seriously injured were taken to hospitals by ambulance, and 10 were taken to a children's hospital by an ambulance bus. It's a lot of coordination. It, it, this involved approximately nine EMS agencies. Uh, we are very near the county line. Hey, CISD says the bus was returning from a field trip to the Bastrop Zoo. In a letter to parents, Superintendent Eric Wright says he's heartbroken, adding, quote, there are grieving families tonight who will never know life again as it was before. He thanked first responders and everyone who has reached out to offer support from other school districts to Governor Greg Abbott. He also thanked the bus driver, who he says despite being injured, insisted on all the children receiving treatment first. Parents were reunited with students at the school in Buda, a process that ended at 645 Friday evening. Cleanup on SH-21 took even longer. It's a busy road and we have a large number of people that were involved in the crash, so we had to go through and identify each one of the children, notify parents, the school had to be notified, so uh, shutting down the road was an absolute necessity. Texas DPS says at this time there's no word on what may have caused the concrete truck to veer into the school bus. It remains unclear if that driver will face any charges. It may take investigators several weeks to finish the crash reconstruction. Reporting live in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News.